Hey guys, it's Lorenzo from TYG here. Today I'm reviewing Thumb Keyboard for Android. Thumb Keyboard is an alternative keyboard app made by Beansoft. Its main selling point is that it offers much greater customization options than the default Android keyboard. These include customizing your keyboard layout, visual theme, alternate long press characters, swipe gestures, and more. Like many other alternate keyboard apps, the first time you open Thumb Keyboard, you are guided through activating the keyboard in Android, setting it to the default keyboard, and given a link to a startup guide. From this screen, you can also access the rather excessive settings menu. The basic settings screen gives you a moderate array of options, but the all settings option instead gives you the full list of modifiable settings, which, as you can see, is a rather long list. The themes section has previews of all 29 keyboard themes available. To be honest, I only really like the default theme and the ice cream sandwich theme, but your mileage may vary. The keyboard size section allows you to customize the size of the letters and the keyboard as a whole in a variety of ways. I personally really like the ability to independently adjust the height of the spacebar row, as I find that missing the spacebar is one of my most common typos, particularly on my Galaxy Nexus and portrait mode. Swipe gestures allow you to choose a variety of actions for different gestures. To be honest, I found the gestures section to be extremely hit and miss. It worked okay on my Nexus 7, but I found it to be extremely buggy on my Genex phone. I was really disappointed with this as I'd really been hoping to be able to use gestures to access text shortcuts. Text shortcuts allow you to set a bunch of predefined bits of text that you can access from the menu. Text shortcuts would have been really awesome on my phone, where I would have actually used them, but unfortunately my phone is also where swipe gestures were so buggy that I generally didn't bother with it at all. The other major feature of this keyboard I wanted to cover is the variety of keyboard layout options. There are 7 portrait and 7 landscape modes that cover a variety of device sizes. The most unusual is probably the phone split layout, which has half the keyboard above the other half. Personally, I couldn't get used to using it, but I could see how it could work wonders on a phone in portrait mode if you took the time to get used to it. On my N7, I found normal split portrait and landscape keyboards suited me best, while on my GeneX, I ended up preferring the standard layout for portrait and the compact split layout for landscape. On my GeneX, I also really like the option for one-handed typing, which biases the keyboard to the right side of the phone screen and makes typing with one thumb far less of a hassle. One nice feature of the standard Android keyboard that Thumb Keyboard retains is that hitting the backspace key after the app has made an autocorrection undoes that autocorrection. This is a feature not present in SwiftKey, which I'm also going to be reviewing in the near future, and it's a feature that I really got used to having on the standard keyboard, so I was glad to see it retained. My thoughts on this keyboard app are pretty simple. The customization it offers is great overall. The split keyboard and landscape mode on my GeneX and N7 are also a joy to use, and the one thumb option for portrait is also great. Like I said, I'm also a big fan of the retention of the backspace to undo autocorrect feature that I've gotten so used to. Another big plus in my book is that if you have multiple Android devices, you can buy this app once and it will work on both phones and tablets, something not true of SwiftKey which has a different app for phones and tablets. On the other hand, the autocorrect prediction engine frankly pales in comparison to that of SwiftKey. The swipe gestures don't seem to work very well, no matter how much I messed with the swipe sensitivity settings. And while this app does offer a lot of customization, I found the options for customizing the alternate characters for letter keys to not have the symbols I actually wanted to use. Overall, I give this app 7.5 out of 10. If you use landscape to type a lot and can be accurate enough not to need to overly rely on autocorrect, then this is a great keyboard app in terms of agronomics. If you're looking for the absolute best in autocorrect engines and primarily type in portrait mode, then SwiftKey is probably the better option for you. Of course, at $2.49 US, Thumb Keyboard is also considerably cheaper than SwiftKey, especially for Android phone and tablet users who would have to buy SwiftKey twice. I hope you guys have enjoyed this review, and remember, check out that'syogarbage.com.